Let me show you the fastest way to make pipes and ropes in Blender. In edit mode, let's merge all the vertices of a cube to the center. Switch to an orthographic view and control right click to extrude a path of edges. Straighten out all your edges by scaling them in the correct axis to zero. Then grab all your right angle corners and hit Control shift b to bevel. Scroll to increase or decrease the divisions of that bevel. In object mode, hit F3 and search Convert to Curve. In Curve settings of the Details panel, increase the depth in the bevel menu to give the pipe some volume. Hit F3 again and this time search for Convert to Mesh. Add a subdivision surface modifier and add support loops to the corners so it's not all floppy. Boom, pipes. If you want to take it a step further, duplicate that cylinder, add a loop cut, bevel it, select that ring of faces, invert the selection, and delete everything else. Close up the caps of those cylinders, scale them up, and model in the joining point. Add in some 600 cylinders with an inset and extrude as bolts. Take it into ZBrush for a quick sculpt using the H polish and trim dynamic to ding it up a bit, and add in some scratches. Substance painter next for a lick of paint, and you've got yourself some gorgeous pipes. Ropes are just as easy. Add a circle to your scene, duplicate it a couple of times and arrange them in a triangle around the center point of your scene like this. Join them together with Ctrl J and set the origin to the center point of the scene. Add a screw modifier to the circles and increase the screw distance until it's wound just like a rope would be. To make longer ropes, you can increase the iterations count in the modifier. You can make a path for the rope using the same workflow as the pipes. Add a cube, merge the verge to the center, and control right click in orthographic view to create a path. Add a subdivision modifier to your path, apply it, then F3 search for convert to curve. Scale your rope down to the correct size, apply transforms, and readjust the screw distance and iterations in the modifier. Add a curve modifier to the rope mesh and select your curve path. Make sure the origin for both curve and rope mesh is at the 000, 000 point in the world to avoid any craziness like this. Change the deform axis in the modifier until it follows the curve correctly, then increase the iterations until it's long enough. Let's apply all the modifiers, then if you go to face orientation, you can see they are the wrong way, indicated in red. F3 search and hit flip normals like you just hit the subscribe button, and now the rope is perfecto. Our final step for the rope, in edit mode, select all vertices and F3 search for shrink fatten. Move your mouse up and down until the rope is winding a little tighter. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of some new rope. If you want to learn more about game art, check out my Gumroad in the description, where you can find tutorials on creating game assets from start to finish, or smaller bite-sized snacks for free on my YouTube channel, like texturing, sculpting, and more. I'll see you in there. Bye.